have a very special guest now. We have race director Dave McGilvery joining us. And not only is he race director, but he's going to be running his 50th Boston Marathon this year. Dave, but first let's start with this year's race. How does it feel to be back again on Patriots Day? I know we were here in October, but now we're back. We're back to normal where we belong. I know. It seems like it was just yesterday we do, we were here talking. But uh, six months is a quick turnaround. But we have the best team on the planet, the BAA staff, organizing committee, medical team, 10,000 volunteers. They all came together and pulled it off. And here we are, and we're good to go. There's a lot of talk about how fast this year's field is. Of course, Benson Caputo is back on the men's side. And that the weather is good for running. Do you expect this to be a really fast race this year? You know, it's interesting. Boston's um, a, a unique event where it's all about strategy than it is about running really, really fast here. So it depends on who takes it out and how fast they take it out and whether that's a legit person to actually win the race and if the whole group goes with them, uh, whether you'll see a fast time or not. So how are you feeling? This is going to be your 50th Boston Marathon consecutive. How are you feeling going into the race? I mean, I'm anxious, <laughs> you know, but um, I'm ready to go too. I've done the work. So it all depends on how the day goes, um, and I'm sure it's going to go fine. And looking forward to getting out here and, uh, you know, bringing up the rear as I have for the last 34 years. So um, looking forward to it. Yeah, for people who don't know, Dave watches the race. He, you know, of course, does the work during the course of the race, and then start you start your run at 3. Come back out here mid-afternoon, yep. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, cover the course. You know, so that's what I've been doing. I, I ran the race for 15 years in a row, then I got off at the job to help manage it, and then I decided I wanted to continue my streak of running it, and so that's 35 years tonight and 50 years overall. I mean, we got to be pretty lucky here with this weather uh, for everyone. It's a little cold right now, but this is going to be pretty good for runners, right? I think it's almost going to be perfect. Wow. You know, it really is. It depends on the winds, whether it's a headwind or not. I'm not really sure what's going to happen out there. Um, but I think it's, you know, they'll be cold at the start. As long as they dress warm, it's all about dressing properly. And then once they start, I think they can shed a lot of the outer layer and, and, and really have ideal conditions. This is such a special moment, this day, and to have it back on Patriots Day after a three-year hiatus from that, what's just the, your, the emotion that you're going through on a day like this, all the work that goes into it, but then do you get to pause for a moment and go, this is special? You know, the pandemic did a lot of tragic things, but one thing it didn't do is it didn't stop runners from running. And they were able to continue to at least stay in shape, maybe not run competitively in races. So, But now's the, their chance. After three years of working hard, they're back here on Patriots Day, able to compete in the traditional BAA Boston Marathon. Dave McGilvery, thank you for joining us. Good luck today. Thank and you, Dave. Good luck later today. Thank you. Uh, it's thank great you to guys. see you. Always good to see you, Dave.